and start the recording. And we are live on Facebook. So good evening, guys. Good to see everybody. So excited to be on here. My name's Andrea, if you don't know me. And I have the pleasure of joining you this evening. So I'm going to steal a page from Coach Palmer's books. It's my favorite thing about the Coach's Corner and say big waves out there. So everybody say hi to me. Let's get our energy up. Hello, hello. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, it's evening. I got confused. Used to Coach's Corner. So thank you guys for jumping on here. Love your smiling faces. Love being on here with you. And we have got a phenomenal Zoom ready and waiting for you tonight. So we're going to kick it off. Well, first, I'm going to do a screen share, share a couple of announcements of some upcoming events. So I'll run through this really quickly. We had some uh, some really great events this weekend that one that I had the pleasure of being a little bit of a part of. And I'll just tell you, people around the nation are stepping up and they're putting on some really great events. We had one this weekend that was phenomenal. I know that there was one online as well. So if you're like, hey, I missed it. I want to go to something. Well, we got a couple more coming up that I know about. So there may be more, but these are the ones that I have information on. But in July, there's two. One is going to be up in the Rockies. So New Age Summer in the Rockies on July 17th. And if you want more information, Miss Tammy Maltby is going to be the lady to connect with for that. And then July 22nd through the 24th, we have the third annual Arkansas Bash in Charlotte, Arkansas. So if you want more information about that, if you want to join us out there, go ahead and contact Richard Tuggle. We'd love to see you there. And if you've got something in your neck of the woods, let us know and we can promote it on here. We'd love to see you. And then wanted to make sure that everybody has seen that we have Vanali still in the loyalty shopping. It's on sale. You can get it through the end of this month. We've got about two more weeks of Vanali being on sale. And I got my allotment. I love it. Hopefully you guys got yours. Learned more about it this weekend at the event. So I'm so excited for that to be coming in. And then we have the children's supplements. So those are on sale now. I cannot wait to have my son start taking them because he has not figured out how to swallow a pill. So excited for him to start taking those and I know Hayden is going to be getting some soon here too, right, Tanya? So excited for that. But with that, before we jump over, I have got a very special guest jumping on with us tonight and his camera's off. So hopefully, oh, there we go. Um, he's back. So I wanted to bring Coach Palmer on here tonight to share with us a little bit because he just had an entire week traveling all over the, the bayou, maybe, if I said it right. And just wanted, Coach, if you didn't mind, if you would just jump on here tonight, share a little bit about your experience this last week and what we all can do to kind of duplicate it. Hey, Andrea, can you hear me okay? I can hear you great. Well, I'll say this. Um, I definitely am going to use our products a lot <laughs> this week because since Monday, I have eaten and I've eaten and I've eaten. Uh, crawfish, uh, ribs, uh, bar barbecue of all sorts. And so for that, uh, I've got, I'm on the way, I'm back on track starting tomorrow. Um, it's been great. I'll, I'll tell you that I joke around, but it's, uh, the past week has been absolutely amazing. And one of the things I'll tell everybody that is out here that that's doing this industry for the first time, maybe. One of the things that you'll find if you'll plug in and really dive in to people in this industry is you'll find you found positivity, community, and really something, you know, there's very few professions that you find that you can retire into and not like look towards retiring out of, <laughs> you know, I don't know that I've ever had a profession that I've done that I hadn't looked towards the future of going, you know what, when I get to this point, I think it'll be ready to kind of put the hammer down and be done. And I, this industry is just completely different because when you really grasp network marketing, it's, it's, it's not as much, yes, you've got amazing products. Yes, you've got comp plans. Yes, you've got, you know, all of that. 
But what drives the industry is just relationships. And if you enjoy breaking bread with people and you enjoy learning more about them and, and, and spending time with them and getting to know their grandkids and getting to know the color of their carpet. And that's really the industry. You know, I, I look across here, Andrea, and I know you didn't ask me to share this, but I know Bill and Susan sailing. I know Tanya Phelps. I mean, I, I know Joe Mitchell. I know Julie and Jason Bradshaw. Like, like, I know them. And, and, and I look at Tad Niblett, man, I didn't know him a year and a half ago, but, but I'm starting to learn him and I look forward to getting to know more about him and, and his family and his kids. And I obviously know, know one of his kids really well, but um, that's what's so special about this industry. And to go back, Andrea, to what you asked me was the week, the week in Louisiana really allowed me to just step away and go plug into people. We rode the roads, we drove in the cars, we went into the fields, we, we, we searched for alligators on four wheelers. We, we, we went into small business owners and we sit and we talked to them about new age and the possibilities of what this could be for them. We ate at small business owners' restaurants and supported them as we talked to them about what this could be. And through this, Andrea, I want to read you, I want to read you this. Early this morning, please, this is a huge clue to building this business. I got chills reading this. Early this morning, I'm going to find it. Bear with me. It went off my... Um, Okay, here it is. So I want to I want to tell you something. Monday, my first event, I showed up and there was a guy sitting in the back with his arms crossed. We were actually at a church. We were at like a a little side building for the church, probably a reception area. The guy's back here like this. Stiff I find out later he was ready to quit. He might be on here tonight. Tim might be on here tonight. And, and it's okay. And so as I'm talking, he even makes a few little comments that's slightly negative. Like he made a little comment about the stock. He made a little comment about, you know, not having any success. And Jason, Jason and Julie shaking their head because they were there. And then I mentioned what this industry had done for me. I said, you know what? Everybody thinks it's about the money and everybody thinks it's about the head. For me, it, it bought me time. What it did was the more I built the business here, I realized I had the time freedom to go to Florida, to go to Wyoming, to go places I wanted to go, to go, you know, hunting, to go fishing, to go... The, the time freedom to be able to go to my kids' games and, 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 and where my job, working 80, 90 hours a week, I was just busy all the time, you know? And when I said that, it was like a light bulb in his eye, like I could see it. And after Monday night, you know, we went and ate at his restaurant, his, his barbecue restaurant, and, and his wife is very successful. And then he showed up Saturday to the training. You'll know the power of plugging in. He showed up to the training on Saturday. He was so busy in order to get to the training, he had to go to work at 3 a.m. and start cooking to prepare for some catering that his company had. But this morning at 4.58 a.m., it's on my text right here, 4.58 a.m., he says, oh, my goodness. He texts me this. Two weeks ago, a week ago, I did not even know Tim. Today, he sends me this at 4.58 a.m. Oh, my goodness. I got two tidbits of pure gold out of staying for the event yesterday. I figured out a way to do this with my current situation of being so busy and having no time. I'm getting ready for catering all day today. Strange how things just slap you in the face. Thanks for spending time away from your family to help us. 
I love the products I'm using. I love what they're doing in my body, but I'm about to make a strong, strong go at this. And I don't know retreat. Have a great day, sir. 4.58 a.m. Ladies and gentlemen, that's why you do this business. It's no different. If you know, when I was coaching football, it was the little things, it was the text messages, it was the kids saying, Coach, thanks for pushing me. In this industry right here, it's about all it's 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 about stepping out, sharing this business with people, and then you never know the impact. You never know what the ripple effect will be. And I share that with you. That's just one thing coming out of this week in Louisiana. But if nothing else came out of Louisiana, that right there is gold for me and will keep me coming back. And here's what I'll challenge you to do. Andrew, you're going to talk about it tonight with them on here. I challenge you, if you have not watched the event, watch the event on New Age Nation. We'll put it out there for you again. But I'm telling you right now, it's go time, ladies and gentlemen. It is go time. It is, And what does go time mean? That means you need to plug in to everybody you know with excitement, with energy, and say, listen, I need to steal 30 minutes of your time. I don't need your money. I don't need your, <laughs> I don't need your, your, your opinion of something you don't know anything about. I need 30 minutes of your time. See, all of us that make up this Zoom tonight, we've got relationships in the world today that we can impress on people. We don't want their money. We're asking for their time. And when you go to somebody and tell somebody, listen, this is what I want. And I want to know a hard time that you can sit down and take a look at this via Zoom, via coffee shop, via coming to you. Like, however, you got to get in front of them. Maybe you send them a video. But the bottom line is I'm looking for time slots. And if you're willing to get the traffic flow going of booking time slots, the culture we've set up in this company is you will never lack finding somebody willing to jump on with you for a time slot. See, you've got partners all across this company. If you're talking to a chiropractor, you can jump, doctor, get Dr. Crystal Vance. She, she, she is such a servant-driven person. Raise your hand if she's helped you in your business. If, you, if you're talking to coaches or, or whatever, and you go, you know what, I need Brent on here. I need Todd Rowland on here. I need, you know, it doesn't have to be major leap. But bottom line is it just is people in their profession, Tad Niblett. I mean, all we're looking for is people to go, you know what, here's why I did this as a coach. And you know what the people are going to say that's got that connection? Me too. I get that, coach. I get, I get where you're coming from. That's all we're looking for is we're looking for connections. But Andrea, you said it, Jason Bradshaw said it when I left the event, said, this is as passionate as I've heard you in front of a room, Brent. And I tell people all the time, where our country is today, I believe in six to eight months, our opportunity for better health and better finances is going to become more and more and more important to the world around us. It does not take a genius to look around and see that we've got things going on in our country that, that, that is not great. And starting the traffic flow right now of sharing the name of a company no one knows about, no one's heard about, even if they don't do it today, what's coming down the road, they can come back to you. But I would start opening that database. I would start reaching out to people and I would start filling up those time slots of going, hey, I'm plugging you in. I'm plugging you in. I'm plugging you in to let you help me build this business. Andrea, that's what I got out of the week. I think Louisiana's on fire. I think we will see major growth out of that sector of the world, um, spreading new age. And I just, again, I just reach out to everybody and go, now's the time. We're at the right place at the right time, but now's the time to put the blinders on and go at this to get your piece of it. I'll turn it back to you.
Well, thank you so much, Coach. Definitely appreciate that. Appreciated the time that I got to spend with now, you. And every, oh, I want to say one more thing, <laughs> Andrea, because I, I want to say this. We spent time with Tanya and, and, and Pat, Tanya Phelps, Pat Klepper, two people that you're going to hear from tonight. Well, Tanya, you're going to hear from, you know, both of us made well over a half a million dollars in commissions in this company doing this part time. They own their own very successful business. Spent time with Jason and Julie Bradshaw and I could go around, the, you know, Debbie Beard and, and, and Chester Roten and, 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 and I could just go around and around and around all made significant money. You know, Julie and Jason has been in the industry for over 25 years. Made a lot of commissions in the industry. But here's the thing they did. You all live, and Andrew, I'm going to turn it back to you after this, but I, I really want you to take a serious thought about this. Whether it's Franklin or Sandy McFarlane or Tad Niblett or Arlene, you all live in respected areas around the country where no one knows about new age. Julie and Jason and, and the leaders there decided to go, you know what? We're going to set up something in Monroe, Louisiana. We don't know what it's going to turn into. And guys, we had leaders pour into that place, not because it was going to be 500 people in the room. They poured into that place for what it's going to turn into. As when you start a business, when you start an organization, when you start a team, you start it with a few. But when the belief's strong enough, and that's what Saturday was all about, that what happens over the next four, five, six year, two years is what it turns into because of a ripple. I challenge all of you to think about how could I step out of my comfort zone and have something in my town, in my area? And you know what? If it's 10 people in the room, 20 people in the room, 50 people in the room, it's got to start somewhere. And that's what I would challenge each of you to do is step out, reach out, and know this, Andrea, we're looking for people to raise their hand. Because just so you know, when we go from a half a billion to three billion, it's all going to be created by people like you and me. They've got to go somewhere. Why not through you? I'll turn it back. I'll be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love that. Thank you so much, Coach. And I'm going to turn this over. I have a very special guest that I had the pleasure of spending quite a bit of time with um, the last couple days. And you know, I think I might have squealed a few times when we were together. Um, her and her husband were laughing at me and I never realized how little I have lived until I got around them and they would talk about something and I had no idea what they're talking about. And they're like, you don't know about whatever. And um, so I was educated a little bit. I can't wait to go back and get educated more. So this is Tanya Phipps. We're not gonna talk too much about our transformation though it is phenomenal. But I wanted to share this photo with you guys real quick before I brought her on here. But Tanya, thank you so much for being on here. I'm trying, I lost you for a second. Talk to me for I'm a here. second. There you are. Okay. I'm here. I'm, I'm, trying here. To, I'm trying to highlight you so that we all get to see you on the screen. There you are. Uh, so thank you so much for jumping on here tonight. And Brent kind of stole my intro because I was going to say, you know, you've earned I got to hear this yesterday that you've earned, and I, I hate to put out your business, but a lot of money. We'll just say that. Like, we're looking like pushing seven figures. So a decent, I don't know about you guys, but like, that's a decent income to me. And you've done that all part-time, right? You still run a yes. dance studio. You're yes. still very, very busy. And we got to see that. We got to see all the directions that you go in. So that was pretty incredible. Um, but let me ask you a question here. When you have somebody that joins your team today, okay, what are you looking for your people to do with you in order to expand new age across your area? Well, you, that's a great question. Very good question. Um, with new people, what I would love for them to do is make out their list and understand that they're not in this by themselves. You know, when, when we got started many, many years ago, um, 
we, a lot of people say that you have three times with me and then you're on your own. I don't say that. That's what some people have said. If you need me to hold your hand, I'm there. You know, you just call me and say, Tanya, I need you here and I will go and I'll, I'll help you. A lot of people, I am a very big, busy person. I, I will not deny that I'm very busy, but here's the thing. Busy people get more things done. And I designate a lot, like with Hayden, I've got him in a ton of things. I'm like, mama, you do this, Tish, you do that, da, 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 da. So if you're a busy person, you know how to say, go do this, go do that. I need you over here, I need you over there. Well, I'm a runner and I may not be able to figure it out that second when you ask me, but I will figure out how to make it happen. So yes, I'm busy, but yes, I want to be here to help you. And so all you have to do is say, Tanya, I need you to do this. Tanya, I need you to do that. You gotta give me a minute to, to think about it, but then I will go help you every step of the way. I want to be like your legs. I want to be the one that, that goes and helps you talk to the small business owner. That's one thing I did with Brent this, this week and Andrea. Um, I, I knew a couple people that I wanted them to see. And of course I called them before and said, hey, we're gonna drop in, just want five minutes of your time. And so then when we ran in, we was structured sort of kinda. Uh, Brent kind of put a, a, a monkey wrench in a couple of them because I'm a, let's get in, let's get out, let's go to the next one. But Brent was like, nope, we're gonna calm down. We're gonna slow this little train down and we're gonna take some time with this person. We're going to take a little time. So it was really great that he was calm and cool. And guys, we can fit a lot in. So if you have somebody that you want us to see, line it up, line your team leader up and go and, and pick a team leader, no matter who it is and say, all right, so I've got this one, this one, this one I want to see. In order to have a business, you have to have somebody to put them in front of. I'm going to interrupt Whoever. real quick. Yes. I'm so sorry. I'm rude. That's just call me rude. But you just said something that was so key that I want everybody to like stare at you for a moment and catch it because it was so powerful. You said you wanted to be in and out, in and out, in and out, right? And Brent yes. came in and he was calm and he sat back and he just talked to him. And I think that right there is the power of a running partner. He doesn't have the same emotional attachment, right? So when I talk to my person, you know, first of all, I'm so worried about them. Like, are they in a hurry? Are they, are they feeling uncomfortable? Are they too busy for me? You know, I've got all these preconceived notions inside me and then I want them. I'm like, join my team, join me. Come on, join me, right? Work with me, work with me, right? I have all this emotion, but then I bring in you and you don't have that same attachment with them. So you can sit there and be, and know your time's valuable and you're, you're spending your time with them, right? And you're gonna share the whole story yeah. and you're gonna share it without that same level of anxiety, um, nervousness. Like you can share it so calmly with somebody when it's not your personal person. So I wanted everybody just to hear that the power of bringing that third party credibility, what that does to a presentation. So I'll shush now, but I just wanted to bring that out. Yes, well, you know, the thing is guys, not everybody's gonna go to a party. There's gonna be some, everybody is different. So some people want to party. Some people are, are just want an in and out. Some people want to eat lunch. Some people wanna have coffee. So you can't think everybody is a cookie cutter. So you have to kind of take it in and just kind of fill it out. And this week was great. We went and saw some business owners and just went in and just made a presence. And it, you know, it is a dating kind of thing that you're doing with your prospects. So all, all I really wanted Brent to do, Brent and Andrea, not just Brent, Brent and Andrea, is just kind of form a relationship. Just go in, hey, I'm here from Alabama. I'm here from California. We, we want to build this with you guys and let's go. And, and, and Brent just kind of told the vision and that kind of stuff. And I let him talk and you can let, and it's not just about Brent guys. 
It's about your team leader who is close to you because Brent and Andrea is only two people. They're, they're only two people, but we can build this bigger than just when Brent and Andrea comes in. So what you want to do is find somebody to go with you, go partner up with you and do the same thing. You go in, hey, this is my great friend. I just wanted you to meet them. They've had some great results and let them talk for a few minutes. Let them tell their story. Let them talk and then go to the next one. So get your list of people, find you somebody as a running mate, whether it is a um, somebody that is just getting started and having a great story, or if it's somebody that's been around for a little while or medium, it don't matter. But, you know, just have a running mate and go in and just make connections and just um, let somebody else t do the talking for you and, and help you out. Well, so that I was way it. long. Sorry. No, that was perfect. So I've got one more question for you. Okay. Um, now, obviously, you've been involved in the industry for just a minute, just a little bit of time here. And um, I see a fire in you that is so inspiring. And I just want to ask, like, what's creating that fire? What has you so excited right now about New Age? Oh, my. Hmm. Well, I'm a businesswoman. I've, I, let, me, let me go back to math. I love math and I did not understand fractions until you put money with it. Sorry, I just gotta be honest. I didn't understand one quarter until you said, it's a quarter, Tanya. I didn't understand a half till you said, it's 50 cents. So money is here. That is, so I'm sorry, I'm a business person. And so with the everything, um, number one, New Age pays more than Limu did. That's exciting. Um, number two, the stock market. I've invested in the stock market. Number three, it's an opportunity because nobody knows about it. I mean, the whole thing excites me. Everything about New Age, the vision that's happening, everything coming together. And when I heard this weekend, so here's here's like I said, numbers are something that means something to me. Talking to Brent, he said 475,000 people around the world. We're in 80 countries, 75 countries, 475,000 people. What does that tell you? In Jonesville, we only have 2,000 people. But in Houston, what is it? 100,000 people? that live there, a million, it's, a, it's over a million people are, you know, there's 4 million people that live in Louisiana and Le Louisiana is nowhere. So if there's only 375 or 475 people involved in new age, there's only one way to go, it's up. And if uh, you wrap your mind around that, then you can really build a big, big business. Well, I, you know what? It's so interesting. I do not have a brain for numbers. I don't like it's all gibberish. But when you just said that, you put that in a way that made so much sense to me. That's so true. That's like yes. the Temecula Valley has the same number of people, maybe just shy, maybe 50,000 people in that one little, you know, 30 mile radius than all of New Age has around the globe. So we right. better get our piece of it. I love it. All these other people are going to come in. I say, let's have them come in under us. So yes. I love it. So, thank you so much, Tonya. I can't wait to come back next time. I'm going to wear closed toe shoes and I'm going on a ride on that. Whatever thing. What did you have me on? A four wheeler, a four wheeler. I'm going to go on a ride on that four wheeler until I see an alligator this time. So that was phenomenal. I know. Thank Look, hi. You know, when you said I hadn't seen an alligator, I'm like, oh, we'll make, we can make that happen. Because two days before that, it was one in the pond right there. So that was not <laughs> a big deal. I mean, it's right there, the pond. We just had to walk out of mama's driveway. But guess what? I think I, you, you got to eat alligator cheesecake, though. You got to eat alligator. Yes. I forgot about that. So I got to eat it. All right. Well, next time I want to see it, maybe I'll eat a little bit more. We'll I, see. We'll <laughs> I really think it's because of the cool front that came okay. through because it was a little bit cooler. And so they wasn't out sunning and everything. 
we'll blame well, it on that. Next time, next time. Well, thank you so much, lady. I so appreciate you. Um, thank you for your time. And we're gonna move this over. And we have a gentleman on here joining us. His name is Jason Bradshaw. And I had the pleasure and the privilege of being able to sit in a room with him and watch him absolutely do his thing. Like some people are skilled in, I don't know, I'm having not speaking, that's not me, um, are skilled in a variety of different things. Jason is skilled in oration. Like he was a phenomenal speaker. I felt like it was one of the, the best events that we've been to. And I definitely appreciated it. So Jason, if you wouldn't mind jumping on here with me tonight, I think you, are you able to unmute? I did. Oh, okay, good. I'm like, <laughs> you're muted. Um, so thank you so much. It was so great getting to spend some time with you this weekend. Were you able to get, or this week, whatever it was, did you get some rest today? I did. I actually, uh, about an hour ago, woke up from a nap. I had been sleeping <laughs> all afternoon. I said, what a great business. I can jump up after taking a nap, throw some slippers on and get, get on a Zoom. So, Well, I love it. Thanks for getting here. up for us. <laughs> and we wore him out, guys. Jason was ran all over. So um, <laughs> sorry can, we wore you out. Can you see me clearly, Andrea? I can. You look okay. great. Okay. I apologize for the, the clarity of the video. I'm, my house is a construction zone right now because I'm remodeling. And so there's just, I'm living out of boxes at the moment. So I'm like, got my laptop on my bed. But uh, yeah, we're excited is, about everything that's going on. Well, I'm glad we have you. This is perfect. So we're not worried about the boxes or the view. We're just glad <laughs> to have you. So thank you. And well, guys, I'm what you may not you. know about Jason is that he is actually been in the industry for 25 years, over 25 years, even though I, you must have been, what, seven when you right, got started? What? <laughs> seven, eight, ten, somewhere along in there. <laughs> Perfect, we really, don't me too. To, we really don't have to put things in terms of years, Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But in that time, he's had a ton of success. He's actually partnered with his mom, Julie. So if you've heard of Julie, you know, Jason, uh, it's a family business, which I absolutely adore. And they have created yes. a ton of success. So Jason, I'm going to ask you kind of a similar question in that what, so and with all that history, right? Like all that history, all that success, what has you excited right now about new age? Well, first of all, I want to thank you and Brent and all of the leaders that came in and helped us, you know, that bring new age uh, to Louisiana and get kicked off. I mean, the fire and the excitement that we left with has just been unparalleled, you know, over the, we have not seen that type of excitement in a very long time. So you're about to see an explosion in the South and it's just gonna, it's gonna be a ripple effect. It's gonna go all throughout the nation and around the globe. So when Tanya was talking about only 475,000 people, you know, that that is an, an eye opener when you really put that in, into perspective, the opportunity that we have when you have, you know, billions of people um, on this earth. And so the opportunity is just never ending. Um, but we're very, very excited. And, and just when, when Coach uh, shared the vision on Saturday at the Super Saturday training and all of the, all of the, the, the uh, speakers, we just had a phenomenal lineup of speakers that just gave some very uh, invaluable insight and information. But when Coach shared the vision and he shared the plan and the play, the simplicity of it really just opened up my eyes, you know, the simplicity of the presentation and, and how we share it. Um, he just really just put it into a nutshell. And so that really excited me. I think I, I think he got tired of me telling him how much I really liked what, uh, what he drew out for us. So, but, um, mother and I have been, uh, my mother, Julie Bradshaw, uh, we've been, um, partners in business for 25 years. Um, we started in the industry when I was 18 and um, within six months, I made $100,000 and I was like, there might be something to this. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we continued on and, you know, it's been a journey and it's been a process. Um, and we've had, you know, we've had valleys and we've had mountaintops and we've had successes and we've had failures, but that's just all part of the journey that just brings you to where you're at today. And in 25 years, I have never... Um, and I don't say this lightly because I have been involved with 
some phenomenal companies that had phenomenal products and, and just, you know, uh, really great, just a lot of those companies had a really great culture as far as the people in the community. So I've had some exciting times with other companies, but I have never, ever been exposed to an opportunity like New Age is giving to us. And I'm so grateful um, for that opportunity. I thank the Lord every day for it. And, you know, I think that that opportunity uh, comes from, you know, earlier when I was talking to Andrea on the phone, when she asked me to get on here and speak, she was saying, you know, you might want to say something about why, you know, why New Age, why now? And I really thought about that, you know, and it, it's really the small things that add up to really to really make a big picture, right? So every single industry, no matter what the industry is, every industry has to evolve, right? You have to change as the world changes and you have in, in, in order to in order to meet the needs of the people that you're servicing, your 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 um, industry has to evolve with the world. And if you don't do that, then that industry dies out, right? And so network marketing, you know, it, you know, got started with Amway over 60 years ago, and it it has definitely evolved as an industry throughout the last 60 years. And we've seen the industry pivot and make some changes. Um, and, and as a whole, network marketing, and Coach said this, you know, multiple times uh, over the weekend, you know, as a whole, the industry does really great when we're having financial crises in the world, right? Because that's when people really stand up and take notice that they need to, they need a plan B, they need multiple streams of income. And so they start looking for something else to do. And so, um, so having said that, you know, the, it, the industry as a whole, network marketing as a whole, in this type of a climate and then this type of a financial climate really soars. It really does well. Um, you know, Coach was talking about how in 08 and 09, you know, coming, you know, when he started in 010, he really had an advantage because people were coming out of that uh, financial crisis of 08 and 09, right? And so in the way that the world is, what, the way that we're headed now, another financial crisis is just right around the corner and people are really going to be uh, taking notice that they need to, um, they need to find another uh, revenue stream. And so it's a really great time to be involved in the industry. So I'm saying all of that to say this, the industry as a whole is thriving. Okay. And the industry as a whole has made some changes, but the individual companies within the industry are not being effective in their changes, right? They're really not making the changes that they need to make in order to keep up with the pace of what's going on in the economy and, and, and the pace of what's going on in, in people's lives and their needs. Um, most, of, most of the companies in the industry, they're singular focused when it comes to product lines. And so that's a disadvantage because instead of redirecting someone spending, you have to get someone to buy something additional, right? You have to change their mindset and their buying habits so that they can purchase from, from your company, you know, um, the, the products that you have. And so when you're singular focused in your product line, um, and then, you know, so that's a disadvantage for a lot of companies out there. And, and the second disadvantage, and it's, and it's a, you know, a big disadvantage, is the fact that they have not effectively found a way to monetize um, the internet, right? They have not effectively found a way to get their, the, the, the reps in the field, the brand partners that they have in their companies to, to utilize um, uh, social media, right? What we're what we, what we have seen is they're promoting social media, and they're getting and they're wanting their their brand partners to to go out and and utilize social media, but they're not effectively training them on how to how, on how to do it. And so what you have is you have a lot of people online pushing a lot of products, and eventually that just kind of goes over your head, right? You're zooming through Facebook, you're zooming through uh, Instagram, you're zooming through Snapchat, and you just kind of bypass all of that, right? Because you've seen your next door neighbor, you know, selling her makeup every single day, you know, posting her pictures and things like that. And I'm not saying that it's, 
you know, transformations that we post, that's one thing because we're, we're showing something real that's transforming people's lives. But what I'm talking about is people getting online and utilizing social media in a way that's not effective because they're just pushing their product, pushing their product, pushing their product, right? And so with New Age, you know, we have a, we have a, a real, it, it's a it's a different world with new age because with new age you know because these companies out there are not um, being effective in their marketing strategies and because there's being singular focused in their product lines and and not not understanding the fact that people need to redirect spending not spend additional a lot of these companies have good clean products that can truly make a difference in people's lives but their companies are undervalued right they have a they have products that are that are potentially billion dollar brands but here in the states that company may be doing 100 million dollars or less right and so that puts new age because we're publicly traded we're cash rich we're debt free you know i mean we're just we're like this this sleeping giant that the world does not even understand or know that that we're we're waking up and we're starting to move and the more we move and the more we start to get on our feet kind of like a dinosaur there's going to be like a, a ripple effect like a you know the the world is going to tremble because they're going to wake up and they're going to be like where in the world did this company come from right and so that is a huge opportunity for us because what we're what we can do is we can go out and we can we can bring on board these undervalued products right that are good and that are that can transform people's lives and we can bring them into our house of brands right and with our house of brands and our multiple product lines people are no longer spending additional right we don't have to change their mind their mindsets we don't have to change their their purchasing um you know the way that they the the their um the way that they purchase products we're able to get them to redirect their spending on things that they're already using that they're already consuming that they're already buying right and that, that's a huge difference when people can redirect spending instead of spending additional that changes things right and it changes things on on multiple levels one thing that we have to wrap our minds around is this when you're involved with a company that that is singular focused in their product line not only do you have to go out and convince people that they need that product and get them to try it and get them to use it and get them to see a difference so that they will buy that product and make that extra expenditure in their budget but your income even though network marketing the way that we're the way that we're paid our income is basically limitless right because the larger our teams grow the more money we can make but you but we really are putting a ceiling on our income with a singular based product line right because not all because that is an expenditure that that person that that new brand partner that you brought on or that new customer that you that you introduced the product to that is an, an additional expenditure in their budget so you know what they're going to place that monthly order for that product right whether it's a hundred dollars 150 dollars 200 dollars whatever but there's they're not going to spend anything outside of that and and they can't because you have nothing else to offer them right so you you so it takes a lot more people to make to make the money that you can make with a with a company that has multiple lines of products right because when you have a house of brands like all right studs and you have multiple product lines and people are redirecting their spending now they're buying things that they already purchased, right? But instead of buying it over here, they're gonna buy it for themselves through their business, right? Or they're gonna buy it from you as a customer. But now instead of spending $150 on a product that you convince them that they need, now they're spending $500, $1,000, $1,500 a month. And you know what? It's not costing them anything because it's money they were already spending right and so now you can do a lot more volume with a lot less people right and you're making a lot more money but not only that at your team as it continues to grow 
there's no ceiling on your income, truly. And when you when you understand that and you realize the power in that, that now you have a customer or a brand partner that has gone from spending $150 a month to they're spending $1,000 a month, right? And you're earning commission off of that, that's powerful, right? Then you you um you you take in and I'm at this point I'm kind of talking about why new age and why now you know what brought me to new age and you know kind of going back to my journey for a minute when I got this what this industry has allowed me to do is given me time freedom right I have a sister who has two kids I have a brother who has two kids. Um, and so I've got two nieces and two nephews right here in Monroe that I have been a part of their lives and I've helped raise them and I've been available to them, right? And so the funny, my sister always laughs because everybody at, at the school always says, we want an Uncle Jason, we want an Uncle Jason. And I'm like, no, they don't need an Uncle Jason. What they need is the opportunity that Uncle, that has allowed me to be uncle jason right they need that opportunity that's going to allow them to do the things that they want to do and i think that with new age and the way that we're structured and the things that we have coming down the pipeline all of these people that have watched me be successful throughout the years right that have never wanted to be involved never asked any questions because they didn't want to know now they're going to be standing up and taking notice. Now they're going to be coming on board because now I have something that they want, right? Because now they truly can build a business from their home, from their phone. And that is what people want. And so New Age has found a way to properly utilize social media and the internet and allow us to log on and build a business online and no other company has figured that out figured out how to do that right i thank god every day for fred cooper and the vision that that man has um and so it it, it it's just um I don't know when I got off on Fred Cooper, I kind of lost my train of thought. <laughs> but but basically what I'm saying is, yeah, but but basically what I'm saying is with, you know, oh, I know what I was gonna say, and I apologize for this, but um you have to forgive me because I had a nap earlier. So my brain is like my thoughts are coming together. You're doing the great. Reason, the reason those people are gonna stand up and take notice, the reason that they're gonna get involved with us now is because we we are living in a different time. We are living in a time like there's never, that, that has never existed before. We are living in the day of the entrepreneur. Now, that doesn't mean that there's never been, you know, there's always been people who had an entrepreneurial spirit, and there's always been people that wanted to be self employed. But now in today's world, the young generation coming up today, they want the lifestyle that their parents have afforded them, right? And they want to be able to, they want to be able to work for themselves. They know that the only way that they can have the lifestyle that they want is to be self-employed, but they don't, they, they don't know anything about network marketing or how to go out and build the way that we have built for the last 25 years. But when I can show them that they can be in business for themselves and that, but, but definitely not by themselves, you know, just like coach was talking about earlier. And we talked about it this weekend and Tanya mentioned it too when she was talking it's about connect being a connector when you get great at connecting people to the right tools you know i said it in the present i said it uh, throughout the day uh, at the super saturday event you are not the tool for your business and you will never be the tool for your business you may be a tool for someone else's business right but you're not the tool for your business and when you stop being the tool your business will explode, right? When you get great at connecting people to the tools that they need, if they wanna know about the products, you connect them to the product, right? Send them to the product Facebook page, tag them in some videos, put them on a phone call with someone who's had a transformation. They wanna know about the business, you send them to the business uh, Facebook page, 
tag them in some videos, put them on a phone call with someone who's building the business. You don't, the only thing that you should share with any prospect is your why of why you're doing this business, right? And if your why doesn't bring you, if your why, you're, and I'm talking about, I'm not talking about the external things, I'm talking about in, in your inner heart, if the why of why you're doing this business is not emotional to you, you will find a reason to quit. When you get passionate about why you're here and what we're doing, because it's not just about you and it's not just about me, it's about the lives that we're going to transform globally. And when you get passionate about what we're doing here and the opportunity that we have here, right? you will push through the brick wall you will push through every single no and you'll get to the point that you don't even hear the no because all you're looking for is the person who's looking right and the way that but with this opportunity a lot of those people that said no in the past right they're now going to be listening and they're going to be paying attention and they're going to be coming on board. But the only way that's going to happen is if you get great at connecting them to the tools. You tell them why you're here, why you're building a business, why you got started, and then whatever they're interested in, you connect them to a tool. Whether you have the information or, or whether you know the information, you may be able to tell them everything there is to know about the product line. You may be able to explain the business to them. It doesn't matter. Don't do it. Let someone else do it. Because what you're doing is you're letting them know by doing that, you're letting them know that they don't have to know everything to get started. Right? You're giving them the, the perspective. They're looking at you and they're saying, hey, I had a question. And he put me off on someone else, right? He connected me to somebody who knows. That tells me I don't have to know it. All I have to do is connect my people, right? It's those things that when you wrap your mind around those types of things, those little small tidbits, those little small nuggets, they will explode your business. And so we are living in the age of the entrepreneur. You know, we, we all want it, but this younger generation really wants it, right? They want to play their video games, and when they pause their video game, get on their phone and make some money, right? We have that opportunity for them. We can change their lives, and we can give them options. You know, I said it in the training on Saturday. It's not about taking people out of careers, right? Network marketing is not about taking you out of a job, and it's not about taking you out of a career. It's about giving you the options to do the things that you love, because when you love what you do, it's not work, right? It may be that you have a passion for this industry and you want to do it full time, but it may also be that you're like Tanya, who's made over half a million dollars, right? And she does it part time. She has a passion for this industry and she loves this industry and she loves transforming people's lives. But but her passion, her God given passion of what the Lord put in her heart is to teach dance. Right. And to have her own dance studio. This industry allows her to to fulfill that dream. Right. If it wasn't for this industry, she probably wouldn't be able to teach dance. She'd probably have to go get a job doing something else to make more money, right? Because she doesn't teach dance for the money. I can tell you that right now. She teaches dance because she loves the children and she loves what she does. So we want to put people in a position where they can have options. You know, maybe you want to be a school teacher, but you can't survive on the salary. Maybe you want to be a doctor, but you can't go to school for eight years to come out of school with hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of uh, student loan debt, right? You can't, you have a family, you can't put your family in that type of predicament. So you give up on your dream of being a doctor. This industry can give you that dream back. You can go to school and be debt free coming out and you can be the doctor that you want to be because this industry allows you to do that. Right. When you understand that we're not trying to take people out of the workforce, we're trying to give people the options to do what they love. And so when you realize that and you understand that. Your your business, your mindset will start to change. You know, it's all about mindset. It's all about perspective. It's how you see things. It's kind of like when coach was telling us about Tim sending him that message at, you know, for something this morning. 
I know Tim. He is a great guy. But I was also there in that room and I saw that the fire had left his eyes, right? Because I had been in meetings with him when he was fired up and he and he saw the vision. That night, the fire was gone. He was discouraged, right? And so because he came to the event, and that's what's so great about events, when, when you when you connect yourself to the community that we have here and you connect yourself um, to the events that we put on, you're going to walk away with a different mindset. You're going to walk away with, with nuggets that can help you explode your business. And Tim made the choice to come to the event and he walked away with some nuggets that completely changed his entire mindset and made him understand, hey, I really can do this, right? It's not something that I have to, that I have to carve out time into, right? I just have to get good at connecting, connecting my list, right? Making my list and connecting people. And Tim is going to be very successful. His business is going to explode because he got that and he understands that. And that's what we have to teach people. That's what you have to understand. Get good at connecting. Understand what we have with New Age, that we have a one-in-one -one operation, right? We're, we're, like, we're like the next, you know, coach talks about Amazon and we're like the next Amazon. We are the next Amazon, but we're we're going to be bigger than Amazon because guess what? We pay you to shop, right? Amazon's not going to pay you. We're going to pay you to buy the things that you're already buying on Amazon, but buy them from, from us instead. How powerful is that? Anybody can wrap their mind around that. You know what it did? We have single-handedly pivoted the entire industry of network marketing right? We have made a change in network marketing that nobody in the industry even understands or comprehends or is even, or, or is even attempting to make that type of change, right? They're still doing the same old thing they've always done, right? right. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy up the ones that have the good products and let the ones who don't fall by the wayside and we're going to be the giant that's going to rule the world, the world of network marketing. And we're going to give people hope and we're going to give people opportunity. We're going to transform their lives. We're going to tr transform their health. We're going to transform their finances. We are going to allow people to come in and create a legacy. See, I've created residual income. I've done that for years right? Because I understand the power of residual income and I understand the need for residual income. But I have never been involved in a company that would that has the type of opportunity that can create true legacy income, right? We talk about it all day long, right? But the reality of it is the fact that it's not there until now. With New Age, we can truly create a legacy. And so uh, I'm just excited to be here. I'm excited in the, in the time and the place that we're at. I'm excited about the community and the culture of the people that we're connected with and, and that we're just, you know, we're one big family. It doesn't matter, you know, and I, um, I liked what some, uh, someone had said um, at the training. They said they don't like the term upline. They call it success line, but it doesn't matter. I, I really like that term. It doesn't matter if you're upline, downline, crossline, whatever. We all lock arms together, right? And we go out and we do this together and we build this together and we're all successful and we're all going to help other people become successful. And so with that being said, I'll hand it back over to Andrea, but I am here for anything that you need. You want to put me on a three-way call with someone? You have any questions? Connect people to me, just like I'm going to utilize you, right? I'm going to connect people to you. That's what we have to do. We have to utilize each other and utilize each other's strengths and have each other's backs, right? Because what we're doing is we're building something that has never been built before. We're pivoting the industry. We're no longer really and truly, we're not even network marketing anymore, right? I mean, we are, but we're not. We're on a whole different scale. We don't compete with other network marketing companies. We're competing with the Amazons of the world. That's, that's where we're at. What other company can say that?
they can't. And so it's just an exciting time to be alive. It's an exciting time to be, um, you know, with this company and, and everything that's coming down the pipeline, things that, you know, things that I don't even know about, but I'm excited because I know that there are things coming that are going to revolutionize, I can't even speak tonight, revolutionize the industry and the way that we do business and help propel us into the next phase of our business and into the next phase of the momentum of our business. And so having said that, I love you guys. I'm excited to be here and I'm gonna hand it back over to Andrea. Well, Jason, that was incredible. Like, I think all of us are like, sign me up. I'm ready. Like, let's go. I'm ready to do this again. I want those options in my life. So thank you so much. I so appreciate you. And guys, we're going to, we're going to move this real quick. I'm going to close this real quick and I'm going to move it back to coach Palmer because he's got, um, he's going to share a little bit of information with us um, so that we can learn a little bit more about a call that we're going to be doing. Andrea, can you hear me okay? I can hear you, coach. Jason just mic dropped the whole thing. The whole thing, that was <laughs> <Great>. incredible. <laughs> Listen, I'll say this, um, now is the time. When Jason said, we, we, we're this company coming together that I wished, you know, here, here's what I'll tell you. In the next three to four months, you will see some things unveiled, some things come out that will truly get you to understand that we're in a company that this industry has never seen, that this industry has never been a part of, a disruptive company, a company that's doing things by design to be one of the top tier companies in our industry, in our age old industry. And so in saying that, we got some things we got to do to hold you accountable, me accountable. You know, it's all about traffic flow. If me and Tad Niblett went and put a McDonald's in Hoover, Alabama today in a location that there was not a McDonald's, all we would be worried about when we open the doors is traffic flow. We wouldn't be worried about you know, are we going to sell cheeseburgers or double cheese? No, we want traffic flow because we know if there's enough traffic flow, there's going to be people that says yes. Today, here's what we need. We need traffic flow. We need you to open your contacts. We need you to reach out to your people. We need, we need you to connect with somebody in your success line, as Jason said. And I think John Ramsey said that, uh, Jason, at the event. And, and say, you know what, I need you to partner with me and tag team my people, whether they're on social media, whether they're in my community, wherever they're at. If they're a human being, they need to know about New Age. And if now's not the time, guess what? Six, eight months, as this company unfolds to be what it is, as it unveils the websites that we've got, the apps that we've got, the mergers that we've got, the partnerships that we've got, that you're going to see, wait a minute, that's not in the nutritional world. That's not in this. That's not in that. That's why we're a company that will become a company that the world looks to. Because when you're going to do something to that magnitude, you got to do it disruptive, right? Well, that's what we're doing. And so here's what I'll tell you. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I will have a call with anybody that wants to be there in New Age at 1 p.m. Central Time Zone, I will record that call, but I challenge you to be there live. We're going to roll out some promotions. We're going to roll out some things that's going to hopefully keep you accountable in your business. The company is going to do some promotions, some special promotions for you, for me, for our team that we can participate in. And tomorrow, I'm going to roll that out for you. I'm going to lay that out for you for why you want to be a part of the promotion, why you want to qualify for, for the promotion, and what it can turn into for you, but not only for you, for your team members. So get everybody on your team to join this call tomorrow, 1 p.m. Central Time Zone. I understand if you're at work. Listen, I used to have a job. I used to hide in the broom closet when I was the high school principal. You know, it's just what you do 
when you kind of, you know, and I'll be on it. Alan White's laughing because his daughter was in school there. <laughs> so I would go in the broom closet, but it was just something that, that was exciting because if I could just jump on for 15 minutes, all I knew was I was excited about being in something different that was changing people's lives. Listen, we're going to change the world with this company. We're going to go to the top. The stock market's going to talk about us. The industry is going to talk about us. We're going to become a one-in-one -one company. We're going to become a company that, you know what, creates an unfair playing advantage. A lot like the Olympic team did in the 90s when they grabbed Michael Jordan, Charles Barkley, and the rest of the crew. The world around us just couldn't compete with that, the dream team. We're going to create that same atmosphere where there's only one company and it's ours to come be a part of. So tune in tomorrow at 1 p.m. We'll see you there. We're excited. Jason, Tanya, Andrea, knocked it out of the park tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. And guys, I will see you all tomorrow, 1 p.m. Central Time on the special Zoom with Coach. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you, Thank Coach. You. Have a great Thank you, guys. Thank you. 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 Thank you.